we take a look at some summer activities. A glance at the Taylor White car. And Junie B. Jones was performed last weekend. Hello, I'm Jacob. And I'm Hal. Also on today's show, we have information on SafeGrad, sports scores, and more. The school year is quickly drawing to a close, and it's important to remind ourselves to make safe and smart decisions. So the Taylor White Foundation was founded um, by parents of a JDHS graduate. Um, his name was Taylor White, and he died in 2009 in a drunk driving accident. Um, his parents, Kevin and Carol, wanted to create something that honored his memory and helped essentially save teen lives. Um, I think that there's their organization has grown out of this tragic um, car accident that killed Taylor. It has a board of directors. They have a lot of um, local community support. They work on ways to engage kids, um, specifically, I think, high school age kids. Well, this is a car that was involved in the accident where Taylor White passed away. And 2009 was the year that Juno Douglas High School was the only high school in town. The following year, there were two high schools in town. This accident happened three days after graduation, I believe. And Taylor White was the model graduate on the front page of the Juno Empire for that year. Um, and the car it comes around Juno in the spring, in the summer, to remind people, to educate people that there are tragic outcomes to drinking and driving, not driving carefully. So the car itself is, um, it's a visual. It's a very visible reminder of how um, quickly and how tragically things can go wrong. I think that um, Taylor's accident aside, there's been a history of accidents that have occurred in Juneau um, that have resulted in death or have resulted in injury um, for young adults. And so by putting the car from place to place on display, I think they're hoping that the, it is the vis visual that causes people to think about the choices that they make, um, especially at, at I think what we would consider high risk times. So proms, graduations, um, when it starts getting really, really sunny and there's the opportunity to, to be out and about bonfires and beaches and the like. Graduation is among us, which means parties, safe parties that is, like safe grad night at Centennial Hall on May 29th. It starts at 10 p.m. and goes to 2.16 a.m. This event is put on by hundreds of different businesses from around town in order to keep our grad students safe. The theme is Welcome to Paradise for all graduating seniors and one guest. Be sure to show up on time because doors close at 11 p.m. and there is no readmittance. Admission is $10 and you must bring a student or photo ID. You don't want to miss this event for there will be tons of prizes like a $2,016 cash prize giveaway, paddle boards, computers, and tons of other prizes. Not to mention there will be a photo booth, card games, dancing, sumo wrestling, and much, much more. The JDHS Drama Department Spring Musical, Junie B. Jones, was performed last weekend. It was another amazing spring play showcasing the talented actors and singers at our school. The lead role of Junie B. Jones was played by Keely Ewing, and the show turned out to be fun for both children and adults alike. Now, to find out what's going on next week, we have the calendar. First up today, the track and field regional meet is at TMHS. Baseball varsity and JV are in Sitka. Boys soccer JV is also in Sitka, and tonight we have girls soccer versus TMHS playing at Adair Kennedy at 6 and 7.45. Also, just after we finish the show, we will be having our senior awards assembly. On Saturday, baseball varsity and JV are in Ketchikan. Boys JV soccer is in Sitka, and the track and field meet at TMHS continues. Girls Soccer is also playing Team HS, playing at 6.30 and 8.15. And now we have a very important announcement about a missing iPad. Many students know Ariel and how important her iPad is to her communication. This iPad is her voice. Last Friday, while on the field, her iPad went missing. 
If anyone has seen an iPad with a black snap-on case or think they might have picked it up, please return it to any teacher or the main office. And now, Hal has the sports news for us. How have the sports been doing, Hal? Thank you, Jacob. Well, last Thursday, boys baseball lost 2-3 against TMHS. On Friday, boys baseball played TMHS again and lost with a score of 5-11. to Last Friday, girls soccer won 3-0 against Ketchikan. On the same day, baseball played TMHS and won 5-4. Yet another victory for JD took place last Friday with softball playing against Sitka and winning with a score of 11-2. On Saturday, boys soccer won 5-0 against Kehi. Again on Saturday, boys baseball played against TMHS and won with a score of 5-4. On Saturday, girls soccer also played again and won 3-0 against Ketchikan. Girls softball played against Sitka again on Saturday and won with a score of 7-6. The last of the sports games that took place this weekend, baseball played against TMHS on Saturday and lost with a score of 6-7. All in all, it was a good week for JDHS sport teams. Next up, we have a look at this weekend's weather. Take it away, Stephen. Hey, everyone. Today, the skies will be partly gray with, and cloudy with temperature highs around 66 degrees and lows around 47 degrees. On Saturday, we should have even more clouds than today. We should have highs around 62 degrees and lows around 47 degrees. Finally, on Sunday, we'll have clouds yet again, but luckily there's also a chance of rain showers. And the highs should be at 58 degrees and lows at 45 degrees. Well, that's all I have for this week's weather. Back to you guys at the desk. To finish off our show, we have some suggestions from Gavin as to what you could do this summer. Let's take a look. Well, you've probably been keeping track of these last remaining days of the school year. And it's coming to a close. I mean, it's ending pretty soon. So I've come up with a list of suggestions for activities that you could do this summer by yourself or with some friends. The most obvious decision, and the most productive, is to get a job. I know I want one, I need some money, and I'm sure a lot of you guys do too. Uh, me personally, I'm sure a lot of my friends will be doing this too, is just sitting at home and playing video games. I play a lot of video games. Probably too much. Honestly though, if you're planning on playing games, I recommend Get playing a game that you can have friends come over and play with you. At least then it's more social. Uh, leading us to the next thing is just get get off your stuff and go outside. You know, just just grab a friend or you know you can just go by yourself. Just just go outside and hike a trail or a anything. Well, I know I've rambled on about some things for a while and. Uh, you know, some people may have something to say. What do you plan on doing this summer? Uh, I plan on getting a job and video games. All right, Quinn, what do you plan on doing this summer? Plan on working, playing lots of video games. You too, huh? Yep. What, what exactly are you planning on doing? Climbing up a mountain, probably. That, that's pretty cool. Usually, I do do that. <laughs> that's great. Well, that's about all I got. If you have any of your ideas, be sure to get those done. And be sure to bring some friends with you. This is Gavin Oxman from JDTV News. Bye-bye. Well, that's all we have for today's show. Go look at our website at jdhsvideo.org to watch past episodes or learn more about the JDHS video program. Also, be sure to follow us on Twitter at JDHS Video.